Marcus Appears, favorite play at receiver, Turkey Day. You, you want to pick out Darnell Mooney, Allen Robinson. You read my mind, unfortunately. Yeah, Darnell <laughs> Mooney is where I'm going to go at 5,700. He played well last week when Andy Dalton took over. I mean, with Allen Robinson out, he ran 32 routes and had 16 targets on those 32 routes. Ten of those targets came from Andy Dalton, and Andy Dalton didn't even play full half. So I would imagine that he's going to get at least 10. Maybe he gets 20 targets. He might say, well, that's outrageous. He's not going to get 20 targets. He's Why wouldn't he get 20 targets against a terrible Detroit team? And last week, he had a good game against Marlon Humphreys, one of the best cornerbacks in the league. He had five catches for 121 yards. This is definitely the value play that I will go to at wide receiver. We had Nick Eatman on earlier here, Steve, celebrating Michael Gallup. You like that play? Uh, I mean, it really depends on CeeDee Lamb, so I'm just going to put all Cowboys receivers to the side. I like Emmanuel Sanders this week at 4,800. Stephon Diggs is in a really tough matchup in coverage, could get shadow coverage in this game. That's going to open up some other opportunities for some of these other Bills receivers. Sanders is 4,800 this week. I know he's been quiet as of late, but this is somebody that could easily go 3x on his salary in this matchup against the Saints, especially if they're going to put Stephon Diggs on lockdown here. Uh, has a few, uh, four touchdowns to his credit. Credit to as well that came during the beginning of the season. But if they're not able to get the ball to step on digs in this matchup, it's going to go to guys like Cole Beasley and guys like Emmanuel Sanders at 4,800. I think Sanders is a pretty good play on the slate.